Hello everybody, it is Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. I'm Lindsay Duff and this is Responsible Day Trading. It is about nine o'clock. I have a plumber showing up, hopefully within the next five minutes. I try to be all, let's do 2020. And I worked out like a champion and that threw my back out. We are on, let's see, it's been since the 9th, 13 days of going to the chiropractor every other day. I have a meeting with a specialist tomorrow, Dr. Kelly, who has worked on me before and he's done a great job. So hopefully that will be set straight uh, after tomorrow. It's just, uh, it's, it's like one thing after another and it's just kind of I'm starting 2020 in February, okay? So this was just a trial month. I mean, my birthday is in February, so why not start it that month, okay? I'm just ready. I know I haven't been trading a lot. I have been doing a lot of simulation in my off time, and I have a lot going on in my head that is keeping me from trading. I have been watching it, but I've been very hesitant. Um, my simulation has been late on entries and uh, holding too long, so late on exits which tells me that I'm not super comfortable with what's going on. Part of that may be the Ninja Trader 8 MACDs. I don't feel like they're quite as in tune as the 7. So I have actually created, or I had somebody create for me, a tick counter for Ninja Trader 8. So if you need one, message me. Actually, it's not on the website yet. If you need it, message me. I will send it to you. I will email it to you. And um, you can see, just looking over here in the corner, it's a lot bigger. Uh, we can It counts down, it changes colors, so it's exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna talk to that same developer about doing my MACDs. And I have a little twist I wanna add to it, so we're gonna check it out, which may mean that I have to change my MACD videos or amend them and add to them. Uh, if you are a current student, I want you to kind of look through. I've started amending some of these lessons. There are some things that I find some people found a little bit more of a struggle than others. So we are doing things like I added in a little more information about the small exhaustion bar, the heart close up, heart close down, uh, and things to that nature so we can really get a clearer understanding. I mean, one of the uh, benefits of me doing homework with people is I get to see how people see things in a different light for myself, which means also that I can take that information and I can go back and add on to what we already have. So right now I'm making an adjustment to that one. I will be making an adjustment to the overall patterns. Uh, everything else seems pretty good so far, but we may need to make some more adjustments. You know, things have been really busy with you profit trader. We're starting to see some people really push forward and show us their skills and be able to become funded traders. And that is an amazing thing to see happen. It's like full circle because being able to teach you and then being able to help you get funded is just a beautiful thing. I don't think everybody gets to experience seeing that side. It's beautiful being able to see that. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what the market is doing. So let's check it out. Let's take a quick peek at the daily chart. And I know that that plumber is going to be here any minute. So I don't want to oops, spend too much time on this. I mean, y'all, if we're looking at the price, it's just continuing up. Let's look at these MACDs. Let's see if that is the last high. I'm just looking at where these MACDs go to typically. That's about the last space of high that uh, we have seen um, historically of where the MACDs reach. It's not showing a lot of strength up, although we got a little pullback here. It's pushing up a little bit higher. We have had just a run, just continuing, continuing, continuing to the upside. We may see this push a little bit higher and bounce off of there. I mean, really, it's starting to slow down, make a lot smaller bars, and when that happens, we tend to see a pretty decent pullback, right? So that is something to keep in mind. As we look at the 10,946 reversal bars that pushed it down and haven't broken through that top Bollinger Band, but we can see the reasons for it to happen. 
oh, he's going to be here any minute. And Okay, the plumber just walked out and I saw some opportunities here. So I wanted to go ahead and take them. I'm a little late on this one. Just wanted to be back behind this area. Um, and then took a second entry right in here. I know this is pulling back a little bit, but I really don't anticipate it to pull back all the way right in here after we've already made this little bitty bit of a pivot, starting to roll up here a little bit. I know it's at the high, and I know we got a lot of distance to travel back and a potential reversal bar here, but we have a lot going on for this. Very weak pullback, very weak pullback here. We've got zero lines acting on the 233. We have, um, a very weak retracement so far on the 610 just pull right back into this area and looking for more up being back above the zero line have it broken back below the emas or bollinger bands here's the word i'm searching for right there we're gonna take this second one out oh there we go popped up and touched it now what did I mention to you earlier one of my things that I've been doing is holding these trades a little bit too long and I feel as though I'm trying to pull that same move here. We're seeing a potential reversal bar. We've seen a couple bars pulling back. So I think that I may have chosen to hold on to this. It might be more of an ego driven thing because I haven't traded a lot lately and I'm feeling the the uh, the want to hold on. Is that the signal I've been waiting for? It is. Come back and grab me. Too late. There we go. watch. I know we're at this spot that could hold us up, but man, those MACDs and these popping up and not listening to them. <sighs> Sometimes I'm overly patient, right? I'm moving my risk a little faster than I, um, than are in my rules. I feel a little bit of nervousness after waiting so long for this to move up, but Lord have mercy. Look at those BBs. Now we're starting to pull away here a little bit, and we're starting to show a slowdown to make myself feel warm and fuzzy, because this is really probably my last trade. I'm going to move that to a break even. It's too early. It's way too early to move that to a break even, but we're still way below here. We're starting to pull away here a little bit. If it comes back to this spot, I really don't want to be in it, but I feel as though I could be two ticks behind here and I would be okay. I'm telling y'all, when I took some time off, I, it took a little bit of a blow to my confidence. So I'm having to do some work to build it back up, especially 
especially with this MACD being tweaked just a little bit for me. So I think I may have found what I've been looking for with that MACD. I think making the tweak made a huge difference. leading lower but it has equaled I just want to look at how big these moves have been I'm gonna go ahead and hit close <clears throat> I'm hitting close by looking at uh, oh, my 610 here mm, the 233 didn't even have divergence I may have jumped the gun just a little bit on that I like to be and before I put this on here I, I like to say this stuff face to face with y'all right so we can just talk like person to person unless you're a robot you're gonna have emotions you're gonna have things go on in your life have I handled it the best probably not the switch from seven to eight has been very tough for me I really think it's because there's just a few tweaks to everything that I need to make so I feel like I'm on that same vibe that we do need to grow and learn with everything. That's why changing the, the MACD setting to a 12 out of a nine, it has, I can already see the, the change in it just in the way I'm perceiving those MACDs. Those MACDs are like my bread and butter. We are like besties. So it's like someone sent in an, an imposter to <laughs> sit with me and pretend to be the MACD when the setting is off. Okay. I've been doing a lot of simulating in the evening and I've been kind of making some changes in my mindset and I have been doing okay in my simulation. I just find a lot of late entries holding on just a little bit too long uh, to the trades, kind of like today. I wouldn't say today, I wouldn't say they were late entries where I took them for those particular trades, but they were definitely late for seeing opportunities come about further or you know, way before. So I held on and I held on and I held on and, and so that's really just kind of overcoming some of my own, um, it's been a while fears. I've had a lot going on. Um, so my mindset is changing to, let's just keep it positive. Let's know that we all make these mistakes, that we all have to learn that all of us will exit a trade early. All of us will enter a trade late. All of us will lose trades and win trades, but we just have to have that right mindset to <laughs> help us to continue forward. So I have a meeting in just a little bit, 30 minutes. Tomorrow is gonna be really busy. I'm honestly trying to schedule in trading. My trading probably will be not until 11ish, maybe a little later. That'll be my um, that'll be my window for trading. That's gonna be it for that. Let's check out the trades. Looky here, looky here. This is where we're gonna go up, my dear. Okay, that's gonna be it. I have a meeting in 28 minutes because and uh, we're gonna wrap this up. I do plan on trading tomorrow. We'll see how things go. I don't think I have anybody back in my house until next week. So that should uh, set the pace for us. <laughs> so, all right guys, let's wrap this up. I hope everybody has a fabulous week. Happy Wednesday. If you've got any questions, definitely hit me up. Let me know. Hope everybody has a great Wednesday. I'm hoping to spend Thursday and Friday with you as well. Um, but as you know, we say around here, you know, I look forward to catching you on the profitable side. <laughs>